Good morning. My name is Maria de Los Angeles Sanhuesa. I have a degree in biology. I belong to the ovarian physiopathology lab in BQ Conicet Mendoza, Argentina. The title of my presentation is The Role of Progesterone Metabolites on the Proliferative Apoptotic Balance of Human Ovarian Carcinoma Derived Cell Lines. Ovarian cancer is the most lethal form of gynecological neoplasia and the fifth leading cause of cancer related with among women. It detects in advanced stage of the disease. It's know that hormone produced in the body can affect cancer progression. Currently, the role of progesterone in ovarian carcinogenesis is controversial. This hormone can be metabolized into the 5-alpha-pregnant derivatives, such as allopregnanolona. On the other hand, progesterone is converted into the 4-pregnant 3 alpha dehydroprogesterone and 20 alpha dehydroprogesterone derivates. In breast cancer, these steroids are active and have pro tumor uh, and anti tumor effect, respectively. Our objective was to evaluate the action of ALO, 3-alpha-HP, and 20-alpha-HP on the proliferation apoptosis balance of epithelial ovarian carcinoma derived cell line. For this work, cell culture of two lines derived from human ovarian epithelial carcinoma, group 1 and SCOP3, was performed. The cells were treated with increasing concentration of these metabolites on the range between 10 to the power negative 11, 10 to the power negative 5 molar for 72 hours. And treated cells were used as control. The action of these metabolites on the cell proliferation was analyzed using MTT assays, and the apoptosis was evaluated by immunostate chemistry and flow cytometry. All experiments were repeated for at least three times. The following graph shows the effect of the metabolite on the proliferation of IRO1 and SCOP3 cell lines. In a recent paper, we reported that ALO increased proliferation in IRO1. The maximum effect of ALO was a concentration of 10 to the power negative 5 and 10 to the power negative 11 molar. ALO didn't cause changes in proliferation in SCOP3 cell lines. As you can see, cell proliferation decreases after 3-alpha-HP treatment in both cell lines at a concentration of 10 to the power negative 10 molar. After treatment with 20-alpha-HP, proliferation decreased in the IROP1 line at 10 to the power negative 9 molar and in a range from 10 to the power negative 7 and 10 to the power negative 5 molar. Treatment with 20 alpha HP decreased scope proliferation in a range from 10 to the power negative 8 and 10 to the power negative 5 molar. This graph shows the effect of the derivative on the apoptosis of IRO1 and scope 3 cell lines. As you can see, 20 alpha HP increases significantly IRO1 of cleavage caspasatory expression respect to control at all concentration. This steroid did not affect the apoptosis in scop cell lines. ALO did no effect in any of the cell lines studied. Preliminary cytometry analysis showed that ALO did no effect on any of the cell lines. However, the 3 alpha HP and 20 alpha HP increased early apoptosis and reduced the percentage of living cells in the SCOP cell lines. This metabolite did no effect on the IROP cell line. Finally, as a conclusion, you can say that the 5 alpha pregnant and the 4 pregnant derivatives show it opposite action, suggesting pro tumor and anti tumor effect, respectively. These are the first evidence of steroids can modulate the carcinogenesis of cells derived from human ovarian epithelial tumors. Understanding how this steroid work could have important future implications for both diagnosis and treatment of the patient. 
Thanks for your attention.